like you ever felt. Are you listening? So this is what I look like when I go to bed with wet hair, so what is this? Honestly, what is this? Isn't that the most beautiful hairstyle ever? So this is better but still bad because, because I let it dry overnight. It's like very bumpy here. It's very hard to do short hair like this, so. Can't wait for my extensions. But anyway, yeah, it's Friday. It's the 14th, Valentine's Day. Like, I don't give a crap about Valentine's Day. Just business, it's nothing else. Well, like, why do you need a day to show your significant other that you love them? Don't you like do these 365 days a year, like, but anyway, yeah, um, I think I'm going shopping today with my dad real quick and then I'm going to my parents' house because my grandma's still there and my mom and my grandma will leave tomorrow to go back home so I'm just gonna like spend the day home again to see her and yeah, other than that I don't know what I'm gonna do today Last night I went to Zumba Fitness for the first time even my sister came along and it was a lot of fun. It was the first time where my instructor, instructor was a guy and that was a lot of fun. Like, he totally felt the music which was really cool. So, also he's American I think, he's black and he asked, I mean he can speak German but he always spoke like English so that was cool and he has apparently has a wife and two kids which is adorable so. But yeah, I love Zumba. Um, me and my sister are going every Thursday now, so that's cool. It's also on Wednesday morning, but I would have to go on my own. So I would have to take the train to the stu studio. So if I'm feeling up to it, I might do it. I might not, so. What else is there to say? I did read more in my ebook in that Heart and Soul, the one with the Korean guy, and it's just... It's just cute, like, like I feel like this is a love-hate relationship or a... It's not an enemy to love her because they're not technically enemies, but since her, his first, like, her first encounter with him was, like, so negative, she just feels like he's a jerk. So, yeah. And something happened with her boyfriend and I'm just like, bro, really? Like, did you really go down that route? Like, holy shit. I don't know how I would feel as the main character if this would happen to me because, wow. I mean, I predicted it because it was kind of obvious from the way they acted. But to actually have it confirmed was just like, shit. That's like... A kick in the face for the main character so but it was bound to happen because we would have we would need the two main characters to fall in love wouldn't we so there needs to be some drama but anyway I am four chapters in there's a, these are very long chapters so like my ebook usually tells me like chapter is like 20 to 25 minutes long so they're longer chapters for me, so that's why it takes me longer, but I'm already... I think I have 200 pages left to read. I think I'm around 60 now, so... But yeah, I think I'm gonna read a little bit more in a bit. I'm gonna have to wait for my dad to text me when he's gonna leave. And yeah, I'm also doing calligraphy. We're doing leathers now, so leather day. I have to do leather E today because it's day five, so the fifth leather. 
So that's what I have to do as well, but I will take that stuff home with me so I have something to do when I'm home because ever since I moved out I literally have nothing at home anymore that I can do so I'm always bringing stuff with me so I can do something. But yeah, that's basically the update for right now. I still haven't read Haikyuu, which I just really want to read that book so I'm just like... I'm not reading anything else right now, but maybe this weekend I will read another volume because I really need to get through all these manga in the next couple months. So yeah, but we'll see how it goes. So yeah, talk to you later. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. guys I know it's been a while but I need to talk about this book because I am shook like not positively um, as you know I don't know if you know because I there's new vlogs from me and I read like the same book over a span of I don't know how long but I just finished heart and soul with the American girl and the Korean guy aka the k-pop star and I am, as you know, I am very new to the whole K-pop thing. Like, I'm not even in there yet. I don't think I ever will because, yeah. But I know some basics of K-pop, like how they have to go through this training thing and get, like, taken in by those man managements and all that. I know some of that. I don't know everything because, I have, as I said, I've not been into it. But reading this book made me realize, I don't know how much of this is fiction and how much is real. Because the author's note actually points out that one guy who commits suicide from the K-pop band Shine. Shiny? I don't know how to say, say that band name. Shiny. Shine. I don't know, but I know it went like people are, were talking about it on the internet. And just reading this book made me realize how scary this is. Like if, if this is really accurate, if this is what they have to go through on a daily basis, I am shook. Like this is terrifying. I don't think like all the K-pop but I think it depends on management which one is it but do people really have to go through plastic surgery? Is that why they all look so perfect? Because if that's the case I'm just like holy shit like are you for real? If they have to and as I say I don't know what's real here and what is not. I'm pretty sure this author has done research because I've read about the author and she likes like K-drama and everything and she loves Korean food and I think she she knows a bit, she did some research on the whole thing so 
I'm pretty sure it's all legit but holy shit like I couldn't stop reading because I was so appalled from the whole thing like when when it got revealed like what really happened to the guy and just it made me sad like do they really all have to go through this shit or most of them again I think it depends on the management and and I I mean there's a lot of people in the music industry who are depressed and get drunk a lot and take drugs and all of that and honestly reading this I'm not even surprised like this shit is bad and if K if that if this is K-pop the what I've read in here I'm just like holy shit also the fans are scary like literally scary this K-pop fandom of this band in here wow like is this really how it is I mean I'm not saying that everyone's bad but, but this is it just made me think a lot and as I said the author's note also says, while Lee Hyung Kim is a fictional character, the struggles that he faces are very real. In December 2017, famed K-pop star Kim Jong Hyun of the group SHINee was found in his apartment after a successful suicide attempt, which was a shocking and bitterly painful reminder that all is not as it seems, even with those who seem to have it all. And there's a lot more and then like phone numbers and everything for people. But I'm just like, fuck, honestly, like, this thing gave me a whole new look of the whole K-pop thing. Because as I said, I'm new, so I didn't know shit, like, I'm a baby when it comes to this. I don't know nothing. I don't even know the names of all the band members of the bands I like. And that says something, so. But just having this information is just i don't know i just don't know i don't know what to say so but yeah i finished that book i loved it the romance was adorable the end was just korean guys are really this cute i'm like i want that for me but i don't want that for them if this is what they do but yeah, I loved it. I give it five stars because it's just... I don't know why I'm... Why do I like this? I'm not usually the romance person, but... The guy is just so cute and it... As I said at first, he came off as a jerk, but when you read the book, you understand a lot of the things he's doing and why he's doing them and the main female character goes through the same knowledge learning about him more and more and also the best friend of this girl like if my best friend was like this holy shit she i mean i don't think it could have gone lower than she already did but she did go lower and i was like mm, wow this is bad like wow I'm, i was shocked because I just like I was like oh, did she and then it revealed that she did I was like wow but yeah anyway I love this book and if you want to read a romance book with a Korean guy a k-pop star you should definitely read Heart and Soul and yes I don't know what else to say I'm I'm rambling now because I'm just I still I'm still processing the book and the things that happened and the fact that this whole thing is based on real events and just thinking that this shit happens for real it's just so much so yeah I have to collect my thoughts now but yeah the book was great and yes I'm sorry I'm, I'm a terrible I'm terrible at this, trying to talk about books without spoiling. I would love to talk about this, like... So, there's so many thoughts I have, but I can't say because it will spoil. So yes, but 
that's heart and soul i'm finished and i need a break so oh boy well hello it's wednesday it's half past half past 11 i just came back from my parents but i had this package in my mailbox and usually i don't really unbox packages here because i usually wait for the halls to show things but this is something I ordered for myself for my birthday. So this is my birthday present, basically. And I can't wait to read it. I'm so excited. So I just wanted to unbox it here. So let's see. As you know, I'm trying not to buy too much stuff. I give myself like maybe one book a week, if even depending on the price but I just had to get this because I was way too excited and I really want to body read this with JT because we body read the first two volumes and the third volume came out very short before my birthday so I had to get it and yay look at this i got heartstopper volume three and i am so excited i initially thought it would be yellow but it's green and i love it because the first one was reddish and the second one blue and now we have green so the color scheme on the shelf is gonna look so cute oh the art is so adorable. Look at the adorable art. It's just so cool. It's so different to any of the graphic novels I read. And they're so cute. And I am so excited to read this. So yeah, this is my little birthday present I gave me. So yeah, Heartstopper Volume 3. I love it. I'm excited. But yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, why are you so precious? I'm excited, just saying. But yeah, that's already the update, so I'm going to bed now. Um, I've, the only thing I've done, I've read half of, not even half, close to half of Haikyuu Volume 30 started this morning. I think tonight I'm too tired now because it's too late. But I will probably finish this tomorrow morning, so... Yay, hi Q! I love it. Why am I so excited about everything? But yeah, this is the update. Um, this might be even the end of the vlog, so... I'm probably gonna end it here. So yeah, this is this vlog. As I said, I, well, I didn't say it, I wrote it in my last vlog. Um, I'm not I'm not gonna do weekly vlogs anymore because sometimes I have so much stuff I'm saying that it takes that the vlog is too long and sometimes there's nothing so instead of just going Monday to Sunday as I usually do I'm just going and see how much footage I have and if there's stuff that fills up everything and happening in two days. It's gonna be a two day vlog. It's, it can be a one week vlog. It can be a two week vlog. It can be a 12 day vlog, whatever. So it's just gonna be a random length, but I'm still gonna do them consistently whenever I want to and have something to talk about. So yeah, but I think I'm gonna end this one here. I think I have enough footage for this vlog. So yes, I will see you in another one.